Have you ever wondered what trees might say if they could talk? What secrets would they share? What stories might they tell? Today, we're exploring the poem, The Trees, by Adrian Rich, a masterful piece that breathes life into the silent giants of the forest, casting them as women yearning for freedom. This poem is a fascinating exploration of nature, feminism, and the healing power of liberation. So, fasten your seatbelts as we dive into the world of Adrienne Rich and her forest of metaphors. Let's start with the first stanza where the trees begin their journey. In the opening lines of Adrienne Rich's poem, The Trees, the trees symbolize women who, like the trees, are rooted in their homes. They aspire to free themselves from the confines of their domestic lives, echoing a common sentiment of women yearning for independence and autonomy. This metaphor of trees longing to free themselves from the floor of the house is a powerful representation of the feminist ideals that Rich so passionately championed. The trees, like the women they represent, are not just static objects. They are living, breathing entities, full of potential and longing for liberation. They are cramped in the houses, a vivid image that evokes the feeling of being trapped or confined. This is a sentiment that many women can relate to, particularly those who feel restricted by societal expectations and norms. The poet then describes the tree's roots as they work all night to disengage themselves from the cracks in the veranda. The trees, and by extension the women, are actively striving for freedom. The use of the word work here is significant. It suggests effort, struggle and determination. This is not a passive waiting for liberation, but an active pursuit of it. This stanza also introduces the concept of the empty forest, a metaphor for a society devoid of the contributions of women. The trees or women have a primary purpose, to renew this forest, to fill it with their strength, wisdom and vitality. The idea of the empty forest underscores the loss that society experiences when it marginalizes or excludes certain groups. Finally, the stanza ends with an image of the trees moving toward the glass, hinting at the impending break from their confines. The glass represents the barriers that stand in the way of their freedom, barriers they are determined to shatter. So in this first stanza, we see the beginnings of a journey, a yearning for liberation. Moving on to the second stanza, we see the intensity of this desire for freedom. The trees, symbolic of women, are not just idle in their longing to be free. They are actively striving to break away from the veranda floor, their roots laboring to disconnect from the man-made structures that have kept them confined. Imagine the scene. The branches and leaves are reaching out, pressing against the glass windows that separate them from the world outside. Their desperation to escape is palpable. It's akin to a patient, not yet fully healed, but so eager to leave the confines of a hospital that they rush towards the exit. This vivid imagery alludes to the impatience and urgency of those who've been held back, suppressed or made to feel small. It's a powerful metaphor for the yearning of women to break free from societal constraints. Now picture the poet seated in the house with the veranda doors open. She's writing letters, a seemingly mundane task set against this backdrop of quiet rebellion. She doesn't explicitly mention the tree's struggle, but it's clear that she's acutely aware. She's part of this world, feeling the desperation of the trees and by extension of women longing for freedom. Night has fallen and the moon is bright in the clear sky. The scent of leaves and lichen fills the air, a poignant reminder of the outside world that the trees yearn for. Suddenly, the sound of breaking glass shatters the silence. The trees are breaking free, their desire for liberation so strong that it physically alters their surroundings. This is more than a simple yearning. It's a struggle, a battle to break free from the constraints that have held them back. And the wind, a symbol of change, embraces them as they finally reach the forest. The moon breaks into pieces, overshadowed by the towering oak tree, a testament to the power and resilience of those who fight for their freedom. The second stanza intensifies the struggle, the desperation to break free, echoing the sentiments of many women across the globe. As we delve into the third stanza, we witness the anticipation of freedom. Adrian Rich's poem continues to unfurl with a palpable sense of urgency and desperation. The trees, symbolic of women yearning for liberation, are inching closer to their long-awaited freedom. The poet is acutely aware of this movement, this silent rebellion. 
The trees are no longer content with their confinement, their roots working tirelessly to free themselves from the veranda's floor. Their branches and leaves, in a desperate bid for freedom, are reaching out towards the glass windows, the only barriers between them and the open world. Yet, the poet, sitting in her house penning letters, chooses not to mention this upheaval. This deliberate silence speaks volumes. It echoes the unspoken struggles of women, their silent battles that often go unnoticed or unmentioned. The poet's silence is a powerful metaphor for the societal tendency to overlook women's fight for freedom and equality, their tireless efforts to break free from societal norms and expectations. As night descends, the poet is enveloped by the scent of leaves and lichen, a reminder of the tree's yearning for the open forest. Their desperation is so profound that it transcends the barriers of silence, permeating the night air seeping into the poet's senses. The breaking of the windowpane signifies the breaking of barriers, the shattering of constraints that have long held the trees, the women, captive. The wind that embraces the trees is symbolic of the changing times, the winds of change that are slowly but surely ushering in an era of freedom and equality for women. The trees' journey towards the forest, towards their true home, is a journey of self-realization, a journey towards embracing their true identity, unfettered by societal norms and expectations. The third stanza intensifies the anticipation, the silent struggle continues, the wait for the dawn of freedom is palpable. In the final stanza, we experience the culmination of this journey towards liberation. The trees, having worked tirelessly to free themselves, finally succeed in breaking free from the confines of the house. They reach the forest, their destination, and their rightful place. This is a moment of triumph and freedom not just for the trees, but also for the women they symbolize. Here, the poet draws an evocative image of the trees reaching the forest. The tall and mighty oak tree overshadows the moon, creating an illusion as if the moon has fragmented into several pieces. This serves as a powerful metaphor symbolizing the breaking down of societal constraints that have held women back, just like the moon being overshadowed by the oak tree. In this breakthrough, Rich subtly emphasizes the urgency of this liberation. The trees, and by extension, the women, were not just yearning for freedom, but it was necessary for their survival and growth. It was not a matter of luxury or convenience, but a matter of fulfilling their innate purpose to renew the forest of mankind. The forest, left barren due to the absence of trees, is now teeming with life again. The sun's rays can now fall upon the tree trunks and leaves, bringing warmth and fostering growth. This signifies the vital role women play in the sustenance and prosperity of society when they are allowed to realize their potential fully. In the quiet of the night, the poet can smell the leaves and lichen, indicating the return of life and activity. The breaking of the glass window pane is a symbolic representation of breaking free from societal norms and expectations, a final act of rebellion against the limitations imposed on them. In the end, the trees, like the women they represent, reach their destination, symbolizing the achievement of freedom and fulfillment of purpose. Their journey, filled with struggle and determination, is a testament to the resilience and strength of women who, like the trees, are destined to grow, flourish, and renew the world around them. So, what have we learned from Adrian Rich's poem, The Trees? We've delved into a world where trees serve as a powerful metaphor for women, embodying their resilience, their struggle for liberation, and their desire to fulfill their purpose. These trees, confined within the four walls of a house, yearn for the freedom of the open forest, echoing the voices of countless women who have been long suppressed and are now ready to reclaim their rightful place in society. Rich's poem is a testament to the healing power of time and the invincible spirit of survival. These trees, or rather, these women, have rested, healed and recovered. They are now ready to renew the empty forest of mankind, a poignant symbol of a society bereft of the nurturing, empowering presence of women. The poem's evocative imagery paints a vivid picture of this struggle and eventual liberation. The roots of the trees labor to separate from the floor, the leaves and branches reach for the glass windows, and finally, in a triumphant climax, the glass shatters. The trees break free and find their place in the moonlit forest, a symbol of the open world where they can grow and flourish. 
Remember, like the trees in Adrienne Rich's poem, everyone has the potential for growth, for breaking free from constraints, and for achieving their purpose. It's all about taking that first step.